video where I'm filming my February feelings, favourites and fails. I'm going to do one of these every single month. I did one last month and I did quite a few last year. So I'm going to talk through my feelings of the month, my favourites and also like a product or two that I didn't quite like this month for whatever reason. So um, not going to ramble on. Let's get into the video. So I'm just consulting my list because I always forget. First of all, I'm gonna talk about my feelings of February. What I've written down on my sheet is that I've actually had a really nice month this month and it's been productive and organized and I've just had a generally quite a nice month. I think it is better than January. January was good anyway. And this year as a whole so far has been good. I think for me, my happiness is very much linked to you know, am I productive? Am I organized? Am I getting stuff done? Like for me, it's the small things that make me happy. Like is my flat clean? Does it smell nice? Um, a nice cup of tea that makes me happy. So it's little things like that. So yeah, this month I've been quite happy. Hopefully next month will be the same or better. Also, my money budgeting is going well literally like i don't know a few months ago or not even that like six months ago my money was not the greatest or my money management wasn't the greatest which is quite funny because i'm doing and studying accounting and finance at uni but it's so much better now i planned it out when i first got my student loan in january i planned out how much i had kind of like all kinds of expenditure the maximum amount that i would be spending on several different things like my food shops my bills you know anything i considered and then i had like my what i call leisure money like leftover money per week so i've just been sticking to that and any kind of leisure money that i have that i haven't spent for that week i will then save and put it to the side for certain things i actually saved money to buy stanley my hamster a new cage got him a bigger cage so the money for that went from what i'd saved over like a few weeks now i'm saving up for a new phone because my phone this is my phone i think it's an iphone 6 and it stopped like i can't download certain apps because it's not ios 13 or something and it won't update anymore it's too old so i'm gonna have to get another one a few upgrades above i'm not one to buy a new phone i will get a second hand one from ebay or something this phone was second hand it's lasted me three three or more years and i'm never gonna buy a brand new phone because as soon as you buy that phone the value drops by like half so i'm just not gonna do that but that's the next thing that i'm kind of saving up for and i think i might get a phone in april or if i don't then that's fine um, but it depends if i've managed to save for that or not fresh face so my little skincare business is also going well which i'm really happy about i've had a lot more orders in february than i did in january january is quite a slow month which i was kind of expecting anyway because it's like after christmas time but february's picked up quite a bit i've been really enjoying doing people's orders and having fun with that i launched a new product in january which was my bath salts and you'll see in my last vlog that i filmed that i actually launched a new product in february which was a coffee body scrub which you'll see shortly in this video but i have got exciting things planned or exciting for me anyway i don't know if anyone else is excited but i have a ne my next product i'm really excited about because it's not something that people would expect me to do um, unless maybe if you follow my social medias because I kind of do little like teasers and things but um, I just I'm just branching out into something different and I'm gonna give it a go you know we're in life we just have to give things a go even if they might fail I'm excited for my next product so yeah if you are interested by the way in purchasing any of my skincare products I will leave a link in the description for my Etsy and my eBay if you're interested and my social medias as well if you're also interested but yeah so that's pretty much my feelings for the month pretty happy productive organized and that's all we can say to for this month okay now for the favorites section of this video also you may have noticed that i've cut like not a fringe but just you know something different um the front pieces of my hair they are like shorter than the rest because i just wanted to change i just wanted something different to my hair and this is what we've done i probably discussed it in my previous vlog but i haven't actually filmed that vlog yet i'm filming this video like a week in advance but if i do mention it in that vlog then I've mentioned it um but yeah i just fancied a change you know and it's probably not neat so don't stare at it too much but i don't care it's my hair i'm just cutting it like i am not that kind of person where i'm like oh i really want to cut my hair but i'm too scared i would just get the scissors out chop we're done do you know what i mean like a little snip 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 i don't care if it's wonky i don't care so just thought i'd throw that out there 
but I'm gonna start off with skincare favourites to start off with. There's only a couple of products. There's a lot less in my favourites this month than there was last month. So first things first is this CBD oil from The Body Shop. This is the Restoring Facial Oil. I really wanted an oil in my skincare routine. I have got quite a, not a huge skincare routine in the evening, but I would say it is for a normal person, but for some people I've seen they've got loads more. But I wanted to add an oil into my skincare routine because I didn't have one in sort of the whole routine that I usually do. They're mainly just kind of gel products and toners and things like that. And I wanted an oil and I saw that somebody I know was selling this for 50% off because she was getting rid of old stock. She used to do the body shop at home. So I picked this up and I thought, why not? Now it's 50% off. So I got this and I really love it. And I definitely will be including oils in my skincare routine in the future. This in particular is sinks into the skin really quickly and it makes my skin feel really hydrated and soft and I don't know I just like the glow that it gives as well I have oily skin and I will continue to put oils on my skin because that is what you should do so any skin type will benefit from an oil so don't you know don't take it away what I would say is that I wouldn't use this in the morning because I would literally be a glow ball throughout the day but I can happily use this in the evening wake up in the morning with really glowy skin clear skin from my other products and then wash my face and we're ready for makeup you know it, it's a great routine I am going to film a skincare routine next month so stay tuned on my channel for that but yeah really love this product and I would recommend if you're looking for an oil to add into your routine then also a kind of skincare slash body care favorite is this this is my newly launched product this is the fresh faced by Georgie Carr vanilla coffee body scrub I mentioned it in my previous video that it was a new kind of launched product but I just wanted to mention it as a favorite in this video um, because I really really do love it now it has been used by me obviously a few times so that's why it doesn't look you know brand new because it's not but I really love this I tried coffee body scrubs in the past and I loved them then and I just kind of went away from them for a while and then I came up with the idea of doing my own and now I'm so glad that I did because I use this on my body and it removes excess fake tan. I haven't got any fake tan on now. Sometimes I do just for fun, but yeah, it removes excess fake tan. It exfoliates the skin. It leaves the skin feeling really soft and yeah, it's really nice. So you just take a little bit of this, mix it with a little bit of water and then rub it across the skin. And yeah, it's really, really nice. I also do use it on my face, but very gently. You have to be careful with scrubs on your face. I know a lot of people don't actually recommend any scrubs on the face, but I think a gentle kind of like little scrubbing over will never do any harm. But yeah, I say that if you're going to use it on your face, just use it gently. I actually personally do. But yeah, I love this. And if you want to get hold of it, it's linked in the description on my eBay and my Etsy. And I think it's £4.49. So, um, and it will last you a good while. So go and check it out. Okay, next kind of category that we're going to look at now is makeup. So I have a couple of products of makeup. The first one is an eyeshadow palette. This is not something I bought. This is actually something my mum passed down to me. I think my auntie passed it to her and then she passed it to me after a few months because I saw it in her bedroom and I was like, oh, that looks cool. And then she said I could have it. So here it is. I actually love this. Like this has become a solid favorite. First of all, like when you first look at this palette, it's very like kind of neutrally browny, kind of everyday, very extremely wearable eyeshadows. I've got palettes with loads of bright colors and you know neutrals as well but it's nice to have like a full palette of just neutrals I'm using it on my eyes today my past few videos is using this I've just been using this solidly for the past two weeks to get to know the shades pigmentation is great especially the shimmery shades what I would say is there is a little bit of fallout you know from those shimmery shades which is to be expected when pigmentation is high I like the matte shades and yeah I really love this palette so I might include this in a tutorial at some point this year i'm not sure but i really love them and you've got cool tone shades you've got warm tone shades and i actually do really like this palette and i was shocked i wasn't expecting to like it as much as i do so this is definitely a solid favorite for this month and i think it's called the looks eye palette if you're wondering and then my final makeup favorite is this this is the figs and rouge wonder love charm glow elixir i think i said everything correctly that I needed to this is like a glowy product it's got a little kind of stopper at the top and it's just like pure glowy liquid you can pop this on the top of your cheekbones as like a highlighter 
or what I do is I pop it underneath my foundation. So I will pop it on the high points of my face, so on my cheekbones and down my nose and on my cupid's bow. And then I will pop my foundation over the top and it just has that like really nice glow under your makeup. If you like glowy skin, you will like this for that kind of a product. But like I said, you can use it as a highlighter on top of your makeup. But what I do find is that it can look very intense if you do that. So if you like an intense highlighter, then go for that. But I like it to be like under my makeup and it still, you know, really does shine through. I just thought I'd mention this. I've had it for ages. I think I got it in a glossy box months and months and months and months and months ago when I actually had my glossy box subscri subscription and I still have it and I still love it. So a little goes a long way. I'm just going to say that. Then we have fashion-y kind of favourites, fashion-y bit. And I do have to apologise about this one because it's not clean. Um, these are some joggers. I picked them up from Amazon. They were like £14. I originally bought some Amazon. Uh, I bought Amazon. Did not buy Amazon. Um, not yet. Um, no, I picked up some joggers from, I think it was ASOS something like that i'm not sure i picked them up from somewhere and there was a size 10 and they were humongous they just kept falling down there was definitely not a size 10 because they would have fit me if they was but yeah they just kept falling down they had no other lower sizes so i was like okay well i can't get those can i um so i picked these up and i think these were a size the, these were a size 8 to 10 they were the smallest that they did on amazon and these fit perfectly i think if i lost a little bit more weight then they would be a little bit big so i don't know why joggers tend to be like really oversized like can anyone explain that to me because yeah i don't understand that but yeah i really like them they're really fluffy on the inside again i do apologize they're not clean and um, but yeah the material on the inside is really fluffy and i find these so comfortable to wear and like lounge around in and i would recommend you know I think that's a decent price off Amazon and would recommend if you're the kind of person that likes like lounge wear, comfortable things and just chilling basically and they fit really well and I like them um, but just bear in mind the fact that they are oversized but not as oversized as the ASOS ones. Right, random favourites now. So just randomly bits and bobs. First of all, we've got these earrings. So I'm not sure if I mentioned them in a favourites video before because I've had them since before Christmas, but I just thought I'd mention them again. I can't remember if I've mentioned them, um, but they're just fake earrings. Actually, I think I have now I'm talking about it, but yeah, I still, they're still a solid favourite. I don't want to get my ears pierced definitely not i'm not interested whatsoever in piercings so i wanted to wear like hoops and i thought you know what i wonder if there's any like decent fake hoops out there so i found them on i think amazon and there's like seven different sizes like really tiny ones are bigger ones this is like more of a smaller kind of size and i like them and they just complete the look and it means I don't have to pierce my ears and I like that they stay on really well and they literally they don't come off unless I pull them off and they're safe because if somebody pulled your ear if you got it caught it would just pull off and it wouldn't hurt and it, it really doesn't so I would highly recommend those then also in jewelry kind of category is this necklace here um try and get it out it's like a little tiny G. My auntie got me it for my birthday and I just, I'm obsessed with this. Like I'm wearing this every single day and I like it because when I'm doing a workout, I can still wear it because it's not a problem. I hate having to take all my jewelry off when I'm doing a workout, like my Pandora bracelet, my rings and my earrings, but this, this can stay on. So yeah, I love wearing it and I wear it every single day. And obviously it's a little G because my name's Georgie. So yeah, it's nice and cute. And then finally for kind of randomy bits and bobs, we've got some nails. So I also picked these up amazon i sound like I, i'm obsessed with amazon but i think it's because i've got a six months free trial of amazon prime so i've just been purchasing things that i kind of need now from there fake nails i got these for like a tenner for like loads of different colors i will talk you through all the colors roughly really quickly in a minute but they're fake nails you cut them off of the thingy stick them on to your actual nails and job's done you can cut them down and trim them down if you want. I haven't been doing that because I haven't been bothered, but maybe I will start doing that and try because they are a little bit long and they do kind of, you know, make it harder to do daily activities, but they're just fun to have. If you've seen in my past few videos, my nails have been really long. They're short now because I like to have a break between being short nailed and being long nailed. I just you can't have long nails all the time the glue i use is this this is the elegant touch brush on nail glue this is also from amazon i would highly recommend this glue keeps my nails stuck on they will only come off if for example i've been doing the washing up and my, the, the glue's kind of melted a little bit and then i like accidentally knock my nail on something this is a great glue this is like my fourth repurchase of this but the colors i've got is like this purpley color 
this kind of browny like poo color nice um this which i really like this color this is probably what i'm gonna wear next like a baby pink kind of color purpley brown baby blue or like kind of a bit brighter than that oh one of the orange ones has come off. There is an orange one. Oh my God, orange, that looks so cool. I definitely wanna try my nails with those, but everyone will see me walking down the street from afar. And then we've got purple and then kind of like a bright pink color. I love those, would highly recommend, worth every single penny with how many that you get and the different sizes that you get. Also for random favorites is this. This is the Caroline Hiron skincare book. Didn't include it in last month's favorites because it was a bit large in terms of like the video was long. I love this book. It's very informative when it comes to skincare. It also kind of tells you the basics of things that maybe you wouldn't already actually know. I find, find it really interesting. I read like a page or two a day because I don't want to read it like really quickly because then I've not got as much to read. Hello. Right, for some reason it's, oh, it's back, we're back. So I just think that this, especially the look of the book, like this just looks, like this is my favorite color, this yellow. And yeah, it has to be a favorite and it, I knew it was going to be a favourite as soon as I saw it. I'm highly into skincare. I've got my own small skincare business. Love this. Then we've got food favourites, which I probably should have mentioned at the start because it is a frozen item that is now defrosting as we speak. Um, but vegetable burgers, I've actually become a lot more interested in more vegetarian dishes and not eating as much meat because I just feel bad, you know? When I'm eating meat, I just like now, at this age and who I am and whatever, I eat meat and I don't see meat as a food. I start seeing it as dead animals, which it is. So it's just a bit off-putting to be honest and I don't, you know, like the way that animals are treated and the fact that they're born to just die and there's loads of people that would come at me and say loads of different arguments against it but this is just my personal opinion. Everyone can have their own opinion. I don't really care what anyone else does. Um, it's up to you because I've eaten meat the entirety of my life and I still will here or there but I mean I just want to have like the majority of my diet to be vegetarian and I love vegetarian burgers. I really do. I prefer them to normal burgers anyway. I always have done. I had cauliflower and cheese ones from Lidl. These are also from Lidl and I love them and I just wanted to mention it in here. So hopefully in my next what I eat in a day video in a couple of weeks you will see some vegetarian food but that doesn't mean that i'm vegetarian it just means that i want to eat more vegetarian food okay now we have youtuber favorites um this is someone i don't think i've mentioned before but it's steph toms her channel is called stephanie toms and i really have gotten into her videos she posts three videos a week so nice and regular i like someone that posts regularly and i like her personality she's very funny she does more makeup based videos so if you're into makeup you'll probably like her but i just like the fact that she posts so regular and you know what to expect when you watch her videos and it's quite calming to watch them and i've just been liking her videos so i'll link her channel in the description if you are interested. Netflix favourites. So we're gonna finish off our favourites with some Netflix favourites. My first favourite is this, this programme. It's like a murder mystery programme. I cannot remember what it's called. Oh, I think it's called White Farm House or White House Farm or something like that. It's basically like a murder mystery type thing. They're trying to figure out who's done it. This whole family was killed. It's actually based on a true story. It's very interesting. I'm only the second episode in, so I will let you know next month if I'm still watching it. And also I've really gotten into watching a series called Superstore. You've probably heard of it. I haven't actually heard of it before recently. I've been watching that on Netflix and it's actually really funny. It's an American like comedy and it's set in a store and it's really funny. And I actually look forward to watching it every single day. So I would recommend that. Now for fails of this video, I only have one. It's not an amazing fail, like I do like it as well, but it's this. This is the Body Shop Vitamin E Skin Cooling Gel Mist. I mentioned this in my like recent video I posted last week where I discussed Body Shop new launches and this is one of them. I did mention that a lot of people don't like this. They prefer the original Vitamin E Mist. This one is weird. It's a gel and it's you spray it like, it doesn't come out right it just sprays like a random dot like you can't spray it over your face like a cooling mist 
it's like you're spraying a serum into your hand and then you have to wipe it on your face so that's why i don't really like this i think it's odd you can't really have a gel and then spray it i think it's just the science behind the, like just the theory behind the product is just not the best but the product itself is nice it's just the, the spray factor to it like yeah it's weird um but i did get it discounted so i'm not going to complain and i do like the actual product it's just the idea of it and the packaging um so yeah that's my fail of the month so that is everything for this video i hope you enjoyed seeing my favorites for the month my feelings of february and also a fail i love filming these videos they're literally my favorite videos to film and hopefully you had a good month i'm hoping that march is going to be good or better but yeah please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe to see my next videos and i will see you in my next video hopefully uh goodbye